G'day guys, it's Troy here from Pain to Performance. Today we're gonna to go through a glute bridge exercise. Very, very common that we do all the time, but we're just gonna make it better again today. So what I'm gonna get Josh to do is lay on the ground in the, that famous glute bridge position, okay? Now, very common thing we would see is Josh lifting that butt up for me. It's great. Fine, nothing wrong with it. Unfortunately, what we tend to see is people will say, oh, I feel it in the hamstrings, or when they lift up, they hyperextend slightly and feel it in the lower back. So we're gonna give you a variation today to take out those hamstrings, isolate those, that glute max that we really wanna fi get firing. So what we're gonna get Josh to do is we're gonna get him to place the band underneath the foot. You're gonna pull it up and over both knees and place it underneath the other foot there. Now, probably the one of the most important cues that we really want to do, it's called about, we want to train the pillar. It's called connecting the shoulders to the hips through the core. So what we're going to get Josh to do is abduct his arms to a 45 degree angle. Okay, we're going to get him to make a fist. We're going to get him to pull those shoulder blades back and down. So it's going to really get lats firing. We get him to drive his elbows into the ground. We then want core on. We want to think about flattening the spine into the ground. Okay, that's going to create a tilt in the pelvis. Knees externally rotate into the band. We don't want to let them cave. And lifting for us, keeping that nice and tight all together. Suddenly, we're getting lats connecting with glutes, firing through that core. And it's going to take out those hamstrings. Fantastic. Give it a go, guys. Let us know what you think.